Jean Patel, photo copyright Luke Adams After another hard-fought day's cricket, Warwickshire need another 70 runs to defeat Derbyshire with 9 wickets in hand. They should, barring miracles, wrap up victory before lunch on the final day at the start of the day, Warwickshire's last four wickets added 64 runs to give the Bears a lead of 121 on the first innings. Matt Lamb was unable to add to his career best 79, falling to a Godelman slip catch off to Anna Livy. Tim Ambrose's steady 40 was a valuable contribution in seeing the total over 400 and the lead over 100. Olivier labored long and hard for his three wickets. Warwickshire then relentlessly worked their way through the Derbyshire batting order. Apart from some slow spin, the pitch offered very little to the bowler so the wickets had to be earned the hard way. With Ryan Sidebottom unable to bowl because of a side strain and Will Rhodes given only four overs, the Bears prevailed with just a three-man attack, and the wickets were shared by Henry Brooks, 4-56, and Gene Patel, 6-76. Brooks took 8-119 in the match and Patel claimed 10-170, only his fourth 10-wicket match haul in his long and distinguished career. 18-year-old Brooks, a rare prospect, took two wickets in his first over, skittling Luis Reese who played no shot and then capturing the key scalp of Wayne Madsen when Patel dived forward at mid-off. Ben Slater and Alex Hughes steadied the Derbyshire ship with a stand of 80-80 their side of lunch. But as soon as Gene Patel started bowling, it was clear that he was in for the long haul. He trapped Hughes LBW on the back foot and then tortured Billy Godelman. Godelman survived an LBW shot first ball, was almost caught second ball and then, when he escaped to Henry Brooks' end, endured another LBW shot. When Ian Bell caught him at slip, he retired with what must surely have been the worst duck of the season so far. For one in the first innings, the Derbyshire captain has had a miserable match. Ben Slater reached a hard-earned 50 before T, when Derbyshire were 126-4, just five runs ahead. In the final session, Derbyshire gradually subsided, fortified only by a hard-hitting 44 from Hardis Volune who struck two consecutive leg-side sixes off Patel before being last man out. Slater was caught off bat and pad, Gary Wilson and Matt Critchley both were trapped on the back foot by Patel and Olivier was similarly hit in front of his stumps by Brooks. Kadri holed out tamely to Patel at mid-off. Overall, Derbyshire owed their downfall to sustained pressure from Patel and Brooks, supported by the accurate but less threatening Chris Wright. After the early loss of Will Rhodes and a few alarms for both Dom Sibley and Ian Bell, Warwickshire were glad to close with just one wicket down but will be confident of wrapping up a win tomorrow.